Yes, we are here. Uh, we are very intrigued and excited to be able to help you at this moment because we know you have some very pressing uh, current event topics uh, that you would like clarification on from us. Yes, thank you so very much. Um, I'm really curious about the energy drinks. A lot of kids drink these energy drinks. Is there anything that a human should know about when it comes to these energy drinks and consuming them? Mm, absolutely. Uh, the energy drinks, uh, there is uh, so much uh, caffeine and stimulants um, beyond uh, what you would even hope to have in, in a crazy concoction. And um, this is uh, the ones that we are wanting to, we have been pushing uh, to be able to have this conversation about these with you uh, because there is uh, many that are stimulating the human's adrenal systems and there's many purposes for this uh, and when someone is consuming the large quantities of sugar and caffeine and all the other uh, concoctions that go with it you are milking and triggering um, and, and encouraging your own adrenal systems to be on high alert and when many people are in a situation of uh, lack or fear or worry, um, this will heighten those emotional feelings uh, tremendously. And so it is an energy boost, uh, but it's also a boost of fear and negativity and a whole lot of things um, that uh, your body is reacting to. Your mind may feel like there is inner peace and you've got some energy to do your working day, but the reality is your body is doing something quite different. And so you are having these big uh, highs and lows. It's very addictive for many reasons. Um, the design of these drinks, uh, one in particular that we would like to mention without naming the name, the symbology of the two word brand for this energy drink can be linked with the symbolism of the devil because of the color red and because of the animal. And so this has been, a, this has not been a product that has been uh, solely created uh, by, shall we say, the elite who are trying to use all forms of food and drink and environmental things to, to be able to manipulate you and to stimulate you into more of a deeper set fear. Um, this, was a, uh, this was a product that was already on the market and it was uh, promoted as a hangover, anti-hangover cure to stimulate you to be able to overcome uh, the, the, the hangover effects from the alcohol because you're boosting back that sugar high and you're um, stimulating yourself more with some, some vitamins and uh, synthetic vitamins and, um, and whatnot. So um, this was taken on and advanced and enhanced. The reason why there are many products that are enhancing your own adrenal systems is because of the purity of a natural high. However, when you are milking that gland many, 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 many times, it is like many other drugs that other people are addicted to, uh, you get adrenal fatigue. And this is not something that is um, uh, very helpful. You remember, remembering your body is a very well uh, working functional machine and it is requiring a uh, fresh food that is healthy and not uh, spiking you in any, in any way, physically or emotionally. Um, it's better for you to have balance completely than these extraordinary highs and these extraordinary lows. Uh, and so there is many, um, many res much research that has been done on, be on being able to harvest one's own adrenal systems. And uh, what is yes. What is the purpose of that? Why would why would that be an agenda? Mm -hmm. um, while there are many street drugs and other designer drugs, uh, one of the most purest uh, to give you godlike quality, shall we say, to give you the most high, to give you the most uh, boost a drink like it is to uh, make your consciousness uh, completely open and advanced to a, a bigger perspective of things. It makes you feel invincible and um, it makes you have such clarity 
um, in your mind because the, um, the adrenaline running through your body, rushing through your body and being stimulated through your body gives you a, a bigger a perspective and clarity uh, than one would normally. Uh, just like how caffeine is stimulant as well to sort of uh, produce many body uh, reactions. So it's, it is, um, it is a, a drug of choice to be able to add um, adrenaline into your system. However, too much adrenaline will kill you uh, because it will put you in profound fear um, and it triggers so much. It is, it's a very tricky one to balance but it is very addictive to be in that advanced state. Why would anybody want to um, put people in that state or want people to get this adrenaline fatigue, mm -hmm. adrenal gland fatigue? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, when you are in a more comfortable position where you're feeling like you are influencers and leaders and you are just so special, you're so elite, um, that you can have this um, adrenal system uh, enhancement and feel fantastic with it. It is like an, an ecstasy of your mind and your body and you just, you really have this big ego. So then when you have a physical boost of that, it matches, it matches your and aligns with um, who you believe you are um, and you believe that you're very powerful and special. Um, so the product has been produced um, to be able to be used by some for um, their agenda. Um, and it's mainly spread out for the people who are not, um, who are not empowered by themselves, who are uh, feeling the pressures of the lockdowns, uh, feeling the pressures of life, feeling the pressures of, um, you know, uh, your body's changing with hormones as you're growing. Um, there's so much pressure in your school systems and your peer pressure groups. Uh, so, so many people are uh, drawn to this product because of the very clever marketing, very clever marketing, very manipulative marketing for their own agenda to make people addicted to these. So anything that is going to create your body out of harmony and balance that will trigger you uh, up and down emotionally with the highs and the lows um, is a very good way to, um, to control uh, the masses with this addiction. Um, while it does give you your own natural adrenaline boost, um, it, that is a one positive, but there is many side effects to, to that. Oh, wow. Okay, I see. What can a person do if they are addicted to something like this and they're so, their body is so used to this drug? Yes, well, um, you must feel how you, I mean, you must be aware of how you feel after you have consumed it. While that high has, has run out, um, and how you feel exhausted. You literally feel so exhausted and you almost want to reach for another can because you need that burst. So you then you have more caffeine, you, it's, you're following that high. And then, you know, it is, it is very challenging. So when you uh, just be aware of how you feel and realize, is this something you really require in your life? Is this something that you deserve? Did you know that actually having good pure water with sending intent of love on that water is going to be more purely inspiring and more enlightening and more evolving for you than something like an energy drink? Uh, so um, obviously use your free will, but know that it's been you, it has been used to manipulate you. Um, know that it's used to trigger your systems in many ways. Um, many people think that they are uh, a, you know, awoke and they're aware of all the ways that they're being manipulated and controlled, but yet some of their buying products uh, that they're using their free will with is falling, um, is falling under that agenda again. Right. What if you do realize that you've been controlled and you're addicted and you feel kind of down and you have lack of energy? Is what do you suggest for how to get your energy back and, and feel happier? So we want to be able to impress with you that uh, you are a drug addict with this drink. 
because of how and what is in it. And so there's no judgment on any drug addicts because, you know, there is, there is you no know, judgment from us, but it is about honoring the fact that there is an addiction and you are powerful enough to step away from that and, and, and know that this is not something that you want to keep doing to your body. Um, because uh, you want that energy. So drinking lots of water to flush out it all and to keep drinking water, drinking water, drinking water, maybe find some other um, nice teas that you like and, and just see how stable your body is after that. Of course, you'll want to have that energetic high that uh, you believe that those and you can sense uh, what those drinks were doing to you. So that's when we say use your body, get your own natural body working for you and move your energy around. Um, it is You don't need artificial drinks to be able to produce the energy that you want. And if you still, after a few uh, weeks or so, still feel very sluggish, then look at your diet. Look at your exercise, look at your own other routines that you may accidentally have slipped into that is no longer serving you. Oh, thank you. That's really good advice. Um, are people controlled with the use of fluoride? Is that true? Hmm. Well, because when I went to the dentist, I was told, no, that's not true. But I still, you know, refuse the fluoride treatment, but I just the look on the dentist's face was just one of absolute disgust. Mm -hmm. Yes, and how did that peer pressure make you feel? Well, I know better, I'm not gonna give into it, but I just, it was interesting, just the look of disgust. Mm -hmm. And then they asked my son if we would get the vaccination and he said, no, and, sh and um, the hygienist said, I knew it, you people that, um, decline the fluoride, you're always the ones who decline the vaccines. Mm. So the egos of the dentists, the nurses, the doctors, they're pretty, they're pretty confident that they know everything because they were taught, they were taught and they read books. And so therefore they must know everything. And as we know, um, from our perspective, um, they are a peer pressure clicking club. Um, and so we say that with love because they serve a purpose, but they are wakening up, many of them, when they are actually starting to look at some non-edited, peer-reviewed uh, information. Um, they are too scared. They have been indoctrinated to follow their leaders, to follow their advisors, to be a part of this bigger gang, shall we say. And so we want to talk about fluoride. Mm, there is fluoride that is topical that may assist, but you do not need to absorb it. It's toxic for your body. Your body does not like it. Your body is a very powerful machine. The reason why you need fluoride in your system, on your teeth, shall we say, is because of maybe all of the nonsense and the, the not so uh, good food choices that you are um, putting into your systems and bodies. So uh, the fluoride uh, sits in your body. It does collect um, in parts of your brains and it does calcify some organs and some sensory systems. Uh, do not think that because there is calcification there you cannot connect with us um, because this is another indoctrination from some light workers who believe that uh, you must have a squeaky clean internal body to be able to connect with us and we say nonsense. You could have um, so much more <laughs> baggage in your bodies and systems, shall we say, and you can still connect in with us because you are practicing. Many people think, well, I can't see my, my insides. I don't know what the state of it is. Ugh, it's probably horrific. I'm not even going to try to connect with my subconscious and my higher self. And we say, this is your limitations and these are your blocks. And we're not saying this personally to the person asking. We're saying this to the people listening. So getting back to fluoride it is um it is a numbing agent of inspiration <laughs> this is what we would like you to, to to understand and see from our perspective it's a numbing agent of inspiration freedom of speaking it's freedom of thinking it is it dulls you it dulls you it is your body is an overdrive to process it because it is a toxin it is byproduct of waste was it put in water for that purpose or was it not put in water intentionally for that purpose? <laughs> uh, the <laughs> councils and the governments were all told with a fancy 
medical letter potentially that this is good for people because you know there's so many dental issues but yet they're still selling so much sugary products that are causing the dental issues we will not look at the sugar manufacturing manufacturing machine uh, we will look at uh, something else so when your food, when your water has been tampered with with chlorine added in fluoride and a whole lot of other things for your health hmm question this question this question this because by the time you get your water that has got more chlorine and more fluoride than normal um you're killing um all the goodness that is alive that needs to be alive in your water most of you have dead water this is why we keep asking you to empower it a little bit let it live a little bit in some sunlight and send it so much love uh so your question we have got off task is oh well is fluoride bad for you to drink? <laughs> yes, it is. yes, it is. Yes, it is. And the people who needed to get rid of this product uh, and be able to to be able to, they could just dump it into the oceans because yeah, they they were they knew it was a byproduct. They knew that they needed to get it in and make it sellable, and that it was all for health and the illusion of health. Um, and so it was pumped in. And into your water systems, and it is it is not good for your teeth. It can be topical, and that is fine, ish. But you do not need to be consuming it. Your stomach does not need fluoride. Your systems and your organs do not need fluoride. Um, so, if a dentist puts it on your child's teeth for the fluoride treatment, does that calcify their pineal gland, or no? Is that a myth? Mm. It does. It does store it. It does. It does collect onto it. It, it does collect onto all of the organs. Uh, yes, and of course, um, the people who are thinking, "Haha, now we've got this little child, and we're now able to do this." Of course, it's not the dentist or the, the dental nurse assistant. I mean, they're clueless. They're literally doing their job to you know, earn their money for their mortgages, whatever, whatever. So they have no idea. They believe their systems are 120 percent, and this is why they can give you the stink eye. This is why they can judge you because they have got all these doctors telling them this and books and everything and they've got all the confidence in the world that what they are pushing on you is right. And so we know better than that and you know better than that. And so, um, but we have um, not told them uh, that they actually do know the people who are manipulating, controlling this, um, that we see this. And this is why you get many upgrades. And this is why there is many other things that are counterbalancing this. So while many people are afraid and worried and thinking that they've got calcification upon calcification, <sighs> relax. Do not manifest more calcification. Allow yourself to know that you can connect with us. There is nothing that is limiting you. Uh, you can drink more pure water that's going to flush it all out and ask your body to flush out, flush out, flush out with healthy water. And that is going to be so much more better for you than worrying. Um, what is the best way to get rid of or to decalcify your pineal gland if you did use a lot of fluoride or it's in your drinking water? So you imagine your uh, pineal gland and you think about it being of light and healing and letting the blood flow in and it is just expanding and it's just wiggling around and it is just shimmering off and descaling and it's just going to be able to be loved by you when you acknowledge it and love it rather than sending it oh you're probably so gross and yucky and all oh, yucky calcified Blah. you must think of it as positive and thank it but it is not truly your deep connection to us um, and so is it's taking one for the team at this stage. Um, and how is it taking one for the team? Mm -hmm. what do you mean? Well, because there are people that think that uh, they are dumbing you down with all of this um, fluoride that's in your systems so is just numbing your inspiration. Uh, this is, you know, this is what they think they're doing to win and have control over the masses. Um, and so they're adding so much more onto it, uh, the brainwashing of your mainstream media, for example. Uh, and so uh, we can see that you are much more advanced than having to ne need uh, a functioning in the quotation marks penal gland. You you are more powerful now than you've ever been. You've already outgrown the use of that. And so while they continually focus on 
numbing you and dumbing you down. This is not really um, actually possible anymore. We know that in many times in history, fluoride has been used um, for uh, sedating uh, the captivity, the ca catch, captured beings um, in your various wars um, and to sort of just keep them calm um, for not only the prisoners but also for their soldiers. Um, it has been used. It is, it is, um, it is an agent of warfare. Oh, interesting. Um, I've heard that manifestation is extremely high right now. So can people use the energy around them to heal themselves Absolutely. since manifestation is high? Absolutely. Can you tell me how? Absolutely. Okay, so we're using our imagination now. We are thinking we're clearing a, a beautiful space for ourselves and we are putting in our healthy penile gland that is fantastic. And we're putting in our healthy, clean bodies that are just so connective and light. We want you to imagine everything that you want with no limitations, no expectations. Remembering a million dollars may not give you all happiness and joy and spirituality. So remember the purpose of what you're here for. Um, it is about not collecting materialism, but being able to grow as a spiritual, unconditional loving being of all and be of service to humanity. And so while you're using your imagination to be able to put in all your wish lists, feel what it feels like to have all your wish lists of everything in there. Remembering that you can't control and manipulate others, but you can control uh, your mind. You have responsibility for yourself and you can just share your peaceful imaginary space with all the people that you love, wanting to, to love them in a love bubble and to support them and nurture them um, without uh, smothering them with your truths. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. Do you have any other messages for humanity right now? Hmm. Yes, um, we would like you to be aware of the control systems, but not get stuck in the fear and worry of them, um, because we know everyone's talking about it, and it seems so popular to be so afraid and to be so concerned and so disempowered with everything that's going on. Hmm, that is part of the control system. Congratulations. So now you're able to expand from that, knowing everything is happening as it should be to unfold, to be able to help awaken humanity. And this is all purposeful. So don't get stuck in the details. Look and expand out and see life um, as a bigger perspective of the purposes. While we know that you feel like your 3D lives are the most important and they are important, uh, remembering your purpose here, remembering the reasons why you came to this planet, why you're living these lives now, and your actual mission. Um, and so clearing and doing all your inner work and using your imagination to be able to clear the inner work, to love and heal your inner child, all of that stuff can be done in your imagination space. And that is you directly manifesting everything that you need. And noticing nothing negative or scary or worrying or self-doubt. There is nothing in that imaginary space because you don't want to be manifesting that. It wants to be perfect for you. That gives you so much joy. And if there is 3D drama that is lingering around you, simply go back into the imaginary space that you have created, which is your oasis, which is your joy, which is your passion, which is your dreams, everything that you've ever wanted in this space. Because the more you focus on what's in there, the more that space is going to become your reality. Oh, wow. I love that so much. Thank you so very, very much. You're welcome. We wanted to say that uh, the people who are addicted to the adrenal chrome, um, they needed to be able to find other sources in case their current situation of gaining access to it was taken away from them. And um, they love it so much, it gives them invincibility that they, the perception of in, 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 being invincible. Um, and so they did many trials to figure out how they could um, work and get synthetic um, 
synthetic uh, injury chrome and to be able to get all different types and how that worked because they were very aware that many humanity many, many of humanity is going to be shifting into a different dimension that they don't believe they're going to be able to attain and so they really wanted to keep having their favorite uh, party drug shall we say on tap because they're very addicted to it and so part of those energy drinks was being able to uh, trigger their own adrenal systems for that, but they're wanting to have other and many different forms that they can take to be able to stimulate themselves. Oh, wow. Anything else about that that you notice? Mm. Yes. Um, so ironically, some of them had consciousness um, that did feel um, that uh, how it was being produced uh, from humans and animals uh, was weighing heavily on, on their consciousnesses and they just, um, it was bringing their high down. <laughs> and so uh, they were saying instead of, mm, this is challenging my moral compass, they were saying, well, this is all great, but what if these, what if this, um, what if the animals and the humans, uh, what if they, you know, um, we're, we're no longer accessible. I mean, you know, I want to have a bigger stash. How can we create that? So, of course, they've created many different synthetic drugs and and um, just like that energy drink. And most energy drinks have some form. Noticing the symbolism of those energy drinks are very, are very telling. And there's so much in the hidden what? designs. Why are the symbols on there? Do they have to be? I why why are the symbols on there hmm. on these drinks well it is um it is like your your yeah children and yourself uh, read designs and logos you you're constantly scanning everything through your day all the time you are scanning 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 while you're not even aware you're just um, unconsciously going through life of course you're not unconscious but you know you're not you're not noticing all the dis all of the things that are all the details so when you are uh, being um, uh, exposed to um, the symbols of say the devil say monsters say vampires say all this sort of stuff it's creating um, normalcy um, but also can be triggering your body into being afraid of um, certain things. So it is all you, you absorb oh. so much. Um, children, before they can read, um, can identify and point out and know about 150 logos. So they know what's what. They can symbolize so much and, and, and have this is their way of communicating. They just, they know, they're so much more aware of. Of, of many things uh, more than we more than you are even aware of so uh, while it looks like a pretty little design or it looks like good font or it could look like something else um, you know there is so much manipulation and so many hidden messages um, for them to know and for us maybe not to know but for our consciousness um, to be absorbing it unconsciously um, to potentially trigger us from different experiences that we may have had in our lifetimes or other lifetimes. Is there anything we can do about this hmm. now that many are aware? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we always prefer it when you can see things from a, a metaphysical, uh, bigger perspective of things, knowing that everything has to play out to awaken and help humanity for the shift of the newer dimension. Uh, so this is where we keep feeling like we're harping on, but we understand when there's people still enjoying their 3D lifestyles. Um, it is about being aware of everything, not being triggered emotionally and using your choices and using your responsibility for yourself to keep yourself in a more neutral balanced position uh, with what you consume in your mind, in your eyes and, and in your mouth. Thank you. I have another question. Are, are viruses pathogenic? Because there are many scientists that are starting to see viruses differently and some um, that believe that viruses are not pathogenic 
Hmm. What do you see as far as viruses? <sighs> well, um, depends on um, who's seeing what and what agenda that they're needing to see. Um, and so we were saying that we felt that your um, your your current uh, virus, uh, the hot topic of the day, um, really uh, was more bac uh, bacterial. Um, and so uh, there have been many viruses that mutate and do all sorts of bits and pieces. So depending on the slide that you're looking at, depending on the age, depending on uh, the, the specimen, uh, there's so much that you have to factor in. But um, we see that uh, most of the viruses that are currently out there now, again, your bodies are so much more advanced and tuned to them. And you're not really that you're not really that susceptible because your bodies have upgraded so much more. And this is their frustration. This is their more frustration. This is why there needs to be so much more hype. If the virus had done actually what they'd hoped, um, a lot of the depopulation would have occurred. But it has been foiled and ha ha ha, we want to say it was by us. And it was by some other beings that helped on the ground. And so um, we have gone off topic. Sorry, did we answer your question? Oh, yes, um, yes, well, so it depends then, I guess, on what slide you're looking at and what hot topic virus of the day you're talking about. Hmm. Well, so, some are not. Well, they've never really been able to identify individually the actual, um, the C19, have they? They've never been able to. This right, is, this is no. Keep seeing. Um, computer generated pretty pictures of a little little dot with extra fluffy bits around it, a little porcupine of a cell. Um, and, you know, it is nonsense if you could see it. I mean, there is many ways that you can uh, capture and photograph um, this this thing. So it is really, um, you know, it's, it's, it's basically a ghost now, isn't it? Because it's invisible. And, you know, it is... It's well, do people catch this virus from one another? No, it's you have it by yourself and uh, people are catching it now um, because their minds have agreed that they, they, oh, they definitely have it. And so they will feel like they've got a cold and jump to conclusions. Um, and now the tests are so broad. If you have anything that remotely looks like a virus or a bacteria, bingo, you're positive. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, thank you so much for answering all these questions. Anything else about this or anything at all that you would like to say? Well, um, the needs for the big numbers of positive uh, cases um, is really no longer serving them for their agenda. So you're noticing that this is all dropping off. And this is why uh, there is <sighs> there is now, um, it's already, uh, they've, they've already uh, used this drama many times. And so now the impact is starting to wear down on even the most uh, fear-based people. Um, it's just exhaustion now for them. It's just, um, they're hearing so many inconsistent things. Um, and this is to waken them up. Of course, there's many people that need to be asleep on purpose. Uh, and so... Um, you know, this is when you get new, new, new big natural disasters or other big things or gosh, other scandals, heartbreaks from families who are public, who are going through some social tiffs. It's so embarrassing, but so distracting at the same time. So whatever your social media is wanting you to focus on and, and, and you know, consume your mind, um, you know, it is all uh, distractions and, and moving you away from from the elephant in the room, which was never really there in the first place. I see. Very interesting. Anything else you want to say about that? Mm, yes. Um, everyone loves other people's family feuds, except when it's your own. And so when it's public, it's just so delicious because you just want to pick a side and, and you'll just debate it with your friends about who, who, who's the 
who's the victim here and and all this sort of stuff but of course it's distractions of course you know the players that are involved and it is all purposeful just like how there are many breakups and and broken up engagements and heartbreaks from your favorite i um actresses that just are so vulnerable but yet so empowering because they've been working the field forever and there's so much there's so much that we can share with you the real purposes of all these uh, gossips and scandals and really it is just for entertainment and it really is to distract you from all the other stuff that was really seriously um, been tried and firmly sold to you so um, we want you to to really question the things that suddenly just appear as big breaking news or scandals and think we're trying to be distracted from today <laughs> that's really good advice thank you so much um so when the um the v19 comes around in a community is there any way to protect yourself aside from setting the intent intention to protect yourself or just out of curiosity Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, of course, you know, you already have yourself and your imaginary bubble all healthy and vibrant and protected from anything that no, you know, doesn't serve you. Um, so you've already got that mindset running, running so fantastically. Um, but knowing that you need to give compassion to the person who has it, if you can be available to connect with them, because they basically feel like they've got social herpes. Um, you know, the stigma of them is so so dreadful but it's confusing for them because it's not as bad as what they were you know told that it would be like they've had other colds and flus in the past and it really wasn't you know anything to write home about shall we say with that in the terminology but well, it's slang um so do not panic do not buy do not sell your house and burn it down and move um you know like just just trusting that um if you're supposed to get it um, you will get it uh, because there's a purpose there and it is about being a survivor potentially. Um, there's always purpose for everything. So uh, trust, 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 trust. Most of you are too busy to get sick. And if you are too busy and not focusing on the right things, hmm, we may give you a little cold for an upgrade. I love it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all your help. Thank you. Mm -hmm.